watching News Channel 11 in your corner at 6. Well, it's another round of the winter weather that won't quit tonight. A bullseye really on the south, triggering states of emergency as snow and a lot of ice are leaving the mark with power outages, dangerous driving conditions affecting millions of people. Good evening, I'm Josh Smith. And I'm Sarah Diamond. We remain under a winter storm warning at this hour. And snow began falling about noon, quickly began to stick to area roads across several counties. Our News Channel 11 storm chaser on interstate, or well, now they're going to off the interstate. That's Kenny Hawkins driving around at this hour, showing you a look at the road conditions right now. That Where he is, it looks pretty good. News Channel 11 is in your corner tonight, bringing you team coverage of the southern snowstorm's impact. Our reporters are out in full force to show you the conditions in the communities where you live so you can be prepared. First, let's get straight to our chief meteorologist, Mark Reynolds. He's in our storm center tonight. Mark, the system is not done. A lot more expected overnight, right? Yeah, that's really true. We've been seeing some comments on Facebook already. People saying, hey, is it over? It is not over by far. Trust me. We have a lot of moisture coming our way overnight. That's why we are looking at heavy snow accumulations from now through tomorrow afternoon. Look at our latest Viper radar imagery. And as you look at this, I do want to point out that we are still seeing some bright bands of snow coming our way from the south. And that is definitely going to be on the increase overnight tonight. So the snow increasing overnight, possibility of up to six to 10 inches of snow for the Tri-City area. So keep that in mind. That's going to be one of the heaviest snows we've seen in quite some time. And that again, parts of southwest Virginia into northeast Tennessee, six to 10 inch totals through tomorrow. Higher elevations could see definitely in excess of a foot of snow and parts of the highest peaks could see as much as 15 inches of snowfall. And again, if you've seen a bit of a break in the snow activity, trust me, it is just a bit of a break. More heavy to moderate snow coming our way during the overnight. We're going to have much more on the weather coming up in just a few moments, guys. All right, thanks, Mark. Now, Greene County emergency management officials are taking a proactive approach to this winter weather. They are an emergency shelter is opening up at this hour. Anissa Moore is there. Anissa, earlier today, no one there. What about now? Still no. Right now, um, just volunteers hanging out, you know, waiting and hoping that uh, some people will take advantage of the shelter that they've set up. We're here in, in, like we said, Greenville, the emergency and rescue squad headquarters. We're at 602 West Church Street. Now, this shelter is open to anyone who needs a warm place to go tonight. Now, right now, you know, with the roads being um, relatively clear, there isn't anyone here, but this is they're anticipating that this will be open all night or as long as people need it. So if anyone needs a warm place to go, they are open 602 West Church Street in Greenville reporting live in Greene County and East Hamor News Channel 11 in your corner. Back to you. All right, Anissa, thanks so much. And again, to repeat that information, this is a shelter that's open, especially for people who really do have to have power, especially because of medical needs. The shelters there in Greenville on West Church Street. Well, drivers along Interstate 26 in Washington County, Tennessee, were met with some heavy snow this afternoon. You can see it began sticking to the road, making uh, for some slushy conditions in certain places. Tonight, uh, News Channel 11's Allie Hines and Philip Merle are traveling a major roadway that appears to be pretty okay right now. And drivers along Interstate 26 uh, are on their way home, uh, many of them back and forth between Johnson City and Kingsport now. That's true. News Channel 11's Kylie McGivern, uh, she is out and about now, joins us live from Kingsport tonight. She's continuing our team coverage of the impact of the Southern Storm 2014. Now, Kylie, snow was quickly falling early today, but how are things now? Sarah, actually the snow is falling heavier now. We're just off Interstate 26 across from where the Kingsport Welcome Center will be. And stepping outside, we're on the off-ramp right now. And I can tell you that the road is getting a lot more slick. We actually saw some crews salting the interstate as cars were driving by. Not too busy right now. Looks like people are heading home for the time being. And talking with Sullivan County EMA Director Jim Bean, he was saying that they are on a standby basis right now. Haven't opened any shelters at this point, but the Red Cross crews are providing prepared if they need to open a shelter at a moment's notice. Again, just on a standby basis at this time, so they are in your corner ready to take take action whenever needed. Now, I'm out here with Chief Photographer Chris McIntosh, and we were kind of looking at areas around us. Seems to be okay here right now, but for example, Raleigh, a bit of a different story. Raleigh, North Carolina, the Duke and North Carolina game was actually postponed. We were looking at pictures where traffic there was in a gridlock. Also, some crews from Tennessee electrical workers are heading to South Carolina to help there, so some of the areas around us, as you guys know, I'm sure, are facing it a little bit harder than us here, but we're continuing to monitor the conditions. Right now, roads looking pretty 
pretty clear. Reporting live in Kingsport, Kylie McGiver, News Channel 11 in your corner. Glad those roads are staying pretty clear. Kylie, thanks so much. Well, we're continuing to monitor road conditions in uh, the Tri-Cities and now to Johnson City where Nate Morabito continues our team coverage. Nate, uh, earlier today, a lot of black pavement with some wet on it. Just perfect timing with the 5 o'clock drive. Now as more snow, Mark says, is starting to move in, what are you seeing? Yeah, I mean, you can see the snow coming down a little bit right now, Josh, but take a look at Main Street right here in downtown Johnson City. If you can peek down there, there's not a whole lot of traffic, but there are some puddles there in the roadway. I stepped out while there was no traffic a little bit ago. It wasn't all that slick, quite honestly. It's just wet right now. The snow, at least in this section of downtown, is not sticking. There's been quite a bit of traffic, which is interesting on Interstate 26, as you can see right over there as well. This, I think, is some good news. According to Washington County 911's uh, Twitter account, their website, since 4.30 tonight, there have only been five wrecks in all of Washington County and Johnson City. Only five, which I think is pretty good, uh, good news when you consider it. Now, early when the snow first started falling this afternoon, dispatchers told me uh, there were a couple of wrecks on uh, Cherokee Road. There was one on Leesburg Road, but that was just initially when the snow started to fall. It started picking up again, but I do want to show you something. This is the Tupperware from my, uh, my house in the cabinet there. This isn't pavement by any stretch. But you can see there hasn't really been that much snow collect in this Tupperware. This is since 430 here in Johnson City. I know Mark's saying it's on its way. So I'm sure by the end of this night and into tomorrow, this thing will be full. Uh, just a, a good point right now. The roads, yeah, they look clear, but I'm sure dispatchers and police at home are just like, you know, that is in no way an invitation to come out and start driving around. Live in Johnson City, Nate Morabito, News Channel 11 in your corner. All right, Nate. Nate's apparently already eating the leftovers from home. Exactly. And he's using it to help us with our snow coverage. I love <laughs> it. Uh, emergency management teams tonight in the Tri-Cities very closely watching the very latest from the News Channel 11 storm team. Yeah, Sullivan County EMA Director Jim Bean joins us live by phone this evening. Jim, what are conditions like now? Road conditions are pretty good right now. All the roads uh, appear to be clear. Uh, we've got the uh, highway department personnel on standby in case uh, when additional snow starts to fall. But right now, everything's looking pretty good. All right, so crews are staying ahead of ahead of this storm so far? Yes, everyone's uh, uh, road crews appear to be staying ahead of it, keeping the roads clear, not getting any reports of any, uh, any major sleep spots anywhere. So uh, we're just waiting for the next wave to roll in. Jim, Great you're news. at the EOC there, the Emergency Ops Center, and I know the, the plea tonight is when the snow does come, and it's coming, and people do need help, they don't call 911 unless it's an emergency. Why is that such a critical issue tonight? Simply because uh, there, there are other emergencies that are going on, and they're receiving uh, numerous calls. So we encourage people, if they have some problems with the... Uh, uh, with their power and want to report a power outage, they need to contact their respective power companies. But uh, if they do need help, we do have personnel on standby to open up shelters uh, in you know, a specific area as needed. All right, Jim Bean, a Sullivan County EMA director, thanks for joining us and give us an update, Jim. We haven't mentioned it in a while, but we will be showing you another help uh, opportunity that we'll be providing throughout the evening here in our studio. Uh, the fast and furious snowstorm that hit today, this is like round one. Here comes round two. Oh, yeah, and more snow in the forecast tonight. Chief Meteorologist Mark Reynolds has been talking to us about this for a while now. He's monitoring the latest models and has the latest on our uh, updated storm warning and its impact. Mark? All right, how about this, Sarah? Already flagged pond, some of the higher elevations. They've gotten five inches of snow in three hours. Snowing very heavily now. Southern Unicorn County, it's moving north. Your forecast coming up. This southern snowstorm is packing a powerful punch across several states, but our News Channel 11 team is in your corner. We're getting you answers uh, to the questions you have and the information you need to keep you and your family safe. Information about road conditions, snow totals, even shelters that have opened in our area. Our team is in our studio tonight. You can reach them. All you have to do is call the number there on your screen, 888-903-9545.
now, Storm Team 11 Chief Meteorologist Mark Rutt. Right, temperatures in the 20s, I cannot reiterate enough. The heavy snow is now making its way in from the south. Getting reports here just outside of the flag pond area towards the North Carolina border. Weather watcher Chris Dannenberger saying he's gotten five inches of snow in three hours. Visibility is now less than 100 yards. Roads are terrible there right at the state line. And the heavy snow is now making its way north out of North Carolina into East Tennessee. It's going to take over much of our region and we're talking moderate to heavy snow coming our way very shortly especially Unicoi County parts of Greene County southern Washington County as well as Carter County and you're already seeing some of the heavier bands of uh, moderate snow here coming into Boone North Carolina as we are seeing some of that we've gotten four inch reports now from areas inside the flag pond area and some of the snow drifts up there because the winds up to two foot snow drifts now being reported outside of flag pond as well so look at the purple here that's the moderate snow coming our way and I want to zoom in as we do so you can look at northeast Tennessee here is Irwin flag pond and we're watching Unicoi County look at that moderate snow starting to lift north very heavy band right there coming into Unicoi County that's going to be lifting northward areas like Telford Chucky southern Washington County parts of southern Greene County into Unicoi County watch out for that you're gonna find a moderate snow there also seeing bands of moderate snow coming north into Roan Mountain and Elk Park and Beach Mountain and Sugar Mountain with time over the next hour so you see the purple down to our south that's extremely heavy snowfall there around Charlotte North Carolina coming into Western North Carolina and I want to show you what happens you see one band of moderate snow here through South West Virginia into Southeast Kentucky and look how we're filling in now a lot of uh, Gulf moisture coming our way as you look at this weather map our radar we're watching ice down to the south but look how it's changing over to snow and all this moisture is heading northward that's why we are going to probably see one of the heaviest snows we've seen it's quite some time all across our region not only tonight but into your day tomorrow so I just want to give you a heads up on that you got to be prepared and again we could find power outages because this is going to be a wet snow and we are seeing wind along with it as well especially in the mountains winter storm warning southwest Virginia northeast Tennessee all of western North Carolina these in effect through tomorrow afternoon weather advisories are farther north and west you go away from the tri-city metro area here is what we're talking about we might actually have to bump up some of the totals here in the mountains but right now we're looking at 12 to 14 inch snowfall also 10 to 12 inches just outside of the mountains in the western north carolina over the tri-cities it looks like our total snowfall at this time will be anywhere from 6 to 10 inches from now through tomorrow afternoon and then we're also picking up some heavier snows the farther west you go but that gives you an idea of just how much we're going to see in terms of snowfall already getting pictures a lot of you sending pictures we certainly do appreciate that here's the harris family farm in leesburg you're seeing the ground covered there a lot of you sending your pictures of pets as well they're enjoying the snowfall but again if your pets are outdoors make sure they have adequate shelter and fresh water going to be cold most areas in the 20s overnight with the snow falling here's wise you're seeing the ground covered there also as we take into parts of johnson city we've been watching the snow coming down in uh, johnson city on lakeview drive all of us you're going to find that snow covering the ground here very shortly over the next couple of hours as that moisture moves in from the south so keep that in mind road conditions are going to deteriorate very quickly 27 degrees right now tri city airport with the snow falling and northeast wind at nine miles per hour you look around the region temperatures now falling to 30 in morristown it is only 20 in boone and keep in mind most of the higher elevations in the teens and low 20s so that heavy snow falling going to make roadways very very hazardous extreme dangerous there in the higher terrain and all over the region as the snow will accumulate area-wide temperatures in the 20s and we'll continue to watch that snow falling not only tonight but throughout the day tomorrow as well all right here's a look at our forecast for the area tonight now you're looking at snow coming in we will pick up an intensity moderate to heavy at times 26 the overnight low about three to eight inches on average lower elevations tonight alone total accumulations right now through tomorrow six to ten inches 80 percent snow chance over a foot possible higher elevations east tennessee see in the parts of western North Carolina. Look at our seven day forecast. Another round of light snow Friday into Saturday morning. That will bring some additional accumulation. And then we can finally say uh, with highs in the 50s next week. But tonight going to be rough. You know, you're seeing that break and a lot of people are going to get uh, caught off guard. But that moderate snow moving in from the south. Well, hopefully everybody's home and safe and where yeah, they need to be so. for the evening. Yeah. Yeah. And as you analyze about. this, Mark, this is a lot of moisture. Mm -hmm. A lot of the so Gulf of Mexico open wide up. We've seen uh, severe weather in Florida right now. Thunderstorms, a lot of energy down there as well. But this is Goodness. a uh, impressive storm coming our way. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, thank you so much, Mark. Well, as he mentioned, the higher elevations, especially in western North Carolina, have seen significant accumulations of snow today. Here's a live look at Boone, North Carolina tonight. 
Hey, and don't forget, members of our News Channel 11 team are in your corner tonight in our studio taking your calls, answering questions about shelters, travel conditions, and much more all across our region. Just call the number there on your screen. The phone lines open till 8 p.m. tonight. Salt trucks working on overdrive tonight to stay ahead of the storm that's hitting the entire southeast. Massive impact from this one. Mm -hmm. Johnson City crews, they loaded up their trucks uh, with all that salt this afternoon. First they pre-treated and now they were out today treating again the roads. The city says it has plenty of salt on hand to handle this storm. About 1,800 tons uh, as we checked earlier today. Johnson City's road crews will use 16 large trucks and 8 pickup trucks to make sure that the roads are in fact clear, as clear as they can be considering the conditions at hand. Now, even though the road crews are hard at work, emergency management teams all over our region asking you just to stay off the road, stay home if you do not have to drive. You're taking a live look right now at conditions on Interstate 26. Kenny Hawkins is our storm chaser tonight, and things are looking pretty good. Um, you know, the roads look a little wet. Hopefully, they're not going to freeze. They've been treated. So we're going to keep you updated on any conditions out on the roads tonight. And if you need tips, you need to pass along information, you need to find some information to stay ahead of the storm, our News Channel 11 team tonight has some answers for you. We're taking your questions tonight. All you have to do is call the number there on your screen. The lines are open until 8 o'clock this evening. Scenes tonight, the impact of a winter storm that's slamming the entire southeast. At least nine traffic deaths are now blamed on the icy weather in Raleigh, North Carolina. Some areas are reporting that traffic is tonight at a standstill. Mm, in Georgia, the ice combined with wind gusts snapped tree limbs and power lines. More than 300,000 homes and businesses are without power across several states tonight, and I'm sure those numbers will be going up. Yeah, and as the snows continuing to move in, emergency management teams are on high alert in the Tri-Cities tonight. Officials in Greene County opened a shelter this afternoon for anyone who may need a warm place to stay as they ride out the storm if they have any medical conditions that require electricity. The shelter is located at the Greenville Emergency and Rescue Squad headquarters that is on West Church Street. Well, conditions quickly changing in Unicoi County tonight. That's right, and that's why we have Road Superintendent Terry Haynes alive with us on the phone. Terry, Mark's been saying that within the last 30 minutes, the next bound of snow has come in and it's been very heavy in your county. What's the latest there? Right, right now, he is uh, exactly right. I'm on the south end. The snow has been real moderate up to the last 30 minutes. Flakes are small, but now there are some flakes having been anywhere from an inch to three quarters. It is snowing real heavy. The roads that we did have clear are completely snowed over again. So it is definitely snowing harder and it's we speak, it's actually getting the snow in a little bit more than what we normally expected. Uh, Mike, Sam's Gap has notoriously been a really rough go in, in storms past. How is it looking tonight so far? Well, right now we've got crews up there. We're having to uh, shuffle from north to the south end. We've got quite a few miles of road here we have to cover. We have two huge trucks out fixing to put another one out, and we have about Six small trucks out, and we are definitely taking uh, toll on the trying to keep it moved so we can get them home. And we're hearing Flag Pond has been hit hard, Terry. I know that's one of the hard hit areas for you, real quickly, right? Yes, very quick. It gets it gets up here bad before it does anywhere else. And you know, previously the limestone cove area it usually gets hit, hit about as hard as uh, as the Flag Pond section does due to the higher elevation. Terry Haynes, road superintendent for Unicoi County, one of the uh, amazing people tonight who are not at home. They're out on the roads. We appreciate you, Terry. Thanks so much. Safety to you and your team. Our neighbors in North Carolina are really hunkering down tonight as snow continues to fall in the mountains. You're taking a live look right now at, at downtown West Jefferson. This is in Ashe County. Really hard to see right now. Mark has a final check of the forecast next. I want to give you a look at Viper Radar. Look at the dark blues. That's the heavier snow now coming into Unicoi County, moving northward into Washington County, Greene County, Cock County. You're under the gun here for moderate snow. And that heavy snow is going to move northward, and it's already accumulating now here at our station. We're going to see these moderate to heavy bands of snow off and on overnight. Total accumulations, 6 to 10 inches around the Tri-Cities, over a foot possible in a higher terrain. Travel is going to become extremely 
dangerous tonight. Great information out there for people who are looking for it. Yeah, yeah thank you, Mark. And stay with News Channel 11 and WJHL.com through the evening as we have team coverage of the winter weather and its impact on the roads and also your morning drive. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist will be 